for now. Why are we? Work out if we can hear ourselves. Unmute that side. Hello. Hi. Hello to YouTube. Very quiet.
Well, hello there. How is everybody? Let me get your my face on the screen now. Again, this is. I'm not gonna lie. Let me turn that down. Switch on analytics so I can see any chat. There we go. Um, cool. Right, it seems this camera has gone very bright again. Maybe it's just my uh, my sparkling personality. That's a bit dark. We'll go there. Okay. Okay. Cool. Right. So. Yeah. It'll have to be okay. Mind you, it could just be that monitor. Probably just that monitor. There's a notification. What's the notification? Oh, cool. Right. Hello. Uh, I'm Cloxon, um, as always. And today we are streaming the Fairground Swing which is an alternative build excuse the tea which is an alternative build for the um, ferris wheel we built a while ago um exciting uh it's a fairly small build i think i mean the uh, the ferris wheel took us two and three quarter hours this one it's a smaller book it obviously doesn't use all of the pieces. Um, so uh, it might not take the full two hours to build, but we have a, a backup plan. The other interesting thing about the, the, the sub builds is they don't give you a bag by bag breakdown, which is fine because you're probably building the main build first. Um, so what I did last night was I had a good breakdown and sort of the ferris wheel. Now we've got small plates, Technic parts and others, tiles, one by one bits, larger plates, bricks, window pieces and snot bits and mini figs and the um, brick separator so I think we use all the mini figs so we'll leave them in their restful bag place for now and we'll uh, crack on with the rest of this we're trying just open the bags as I need them, which is a shame because this one, I think I need everything. And we're going to like try and keep them in separate piles. Because by doing that, it's going to be easier to find everything, theoretically. So, let's make a start. So, we need bricks out because we need... So, I'll put the bricks here. Bag to one side. Um, so we need one of these. Um, one second. Cool. Uh, so we need one of those. Are we going to need? The odd bits open over here, I think. I should have the pots in this, I think. I should get myself some little trays. Or could make myself some little trays. How to Lego! No. I don't have enough spare Lego for that. So we need that out of 
here. Um, we need a one by one brick out of here. It looks like that. And then everything else is in the ones bag. So we'll grab that. And we'll empty it there. That way it's hemmed in by other things. Unsurprisingly, I don't think there's going to be any bag we're not going to open, but for now, we'll, uh, we'll stick to opening them when we need them. And a corner edge piece. Okay, so we're making a little doggy thing. Um, this one's mostly white. Uh, the one in the main build, I think, is brown. Or brown and white. You'll have to excuse my uh, alarmingly moistured face. It's quite humid and warm where I am, which is a shame. Or it could just be performance anxiety. Anyway, there we go. Nice little doggy and the little uh, little blue brick makes it look like a collar. And the next thing we're going to be building is one of those little bubblegum machines, those little gacha machines. Where you put in your cash and you get a small prize that is worth very little. Almost certainly less than you paid for it. And again, we need this mostly. Ooh, we need to open our. Where are they? This one here. The. Uh... Oh, hello, Chili. How are you? I am. I'm very good. I'm uh, having a nice, relaxing evening. Building a swing light. For, for, for some very good reasons, which um, I've yet to make up. But, because it's fun. How are you anyway? Uh, yeah, so like I said, this is our gacha machine. Do enjoy a gacha machine. Built it the wrong way around. Yeah. Um. And then let's go. Ooh, ooh, dropped it all over there. Ah, uh, yeah, it is. I think all the three in one sets are fun. Apart from maybe the big tiger, the majestic tiger, which I don't really like the look of. Which is why I've not bought it. But I probably should get it because it's got loads of orange bricks, and who doesn't like orange bricks? There we go. Little little bubble gum gacha thingy. Next, we're building some kind of side show. Possibly a duck knocking over game. And for this, we need to dip into our big, big bag. There we go. So, uh, looks a bit yellow. Let's get this one. So what have you been up to, if you don't mind me asking? Been a couple of weeks. You in for in for the city gardens, I think, if I remember rightly.
Yes. Oh, nice. Like, working as in just sat on some lovely garden furniture drinking some beer or, or working as in like hacking up some uh, some obstinate weeds oh painting the garbage oh, fair enough there are worse things to be doing on a Sunday night I suppose or Sunday afternoon depending I suppose where you are I'm hoping at some point to change my garage, turn my garage into something of a, a studio, but uh, it's, it's going to be a while before I get to that, I think, sadly. It needs all sorts of um, stuff. Okay, I don't know. It's, uh, one of those like wooden garages with like the the big opening doors and the like the nice windows in the top, or just just a wooden shack or We need some windows I'll not take these out It's been a while since I've painted anything Like, big painting I mean, <laughs> two miniature painting all the time Oh, hello Ben, how are you? Oh, Paella. Oh, Paella just sounds awesome. We just had chicken, chicken soup. But good chicken soup. Uh, yeah, we finished it last week. We did a big um, six-hour stream on a Sunday. Um, we, we uh, our Lego and Chill XL. And we, we finished it up then. Um, there's some photos on the Twitter if you want to go and see. Or there's uh, there's the VOD on YouTube and Twitch. If, 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 if you happen to want to sit for six hours and watch me talk crap and build Lego. <clears throat> I don't have a command like that, but I'll, uh, I'll acknowledge your lurk, Ben. Thank you. Thank you for the lurk. I'll get there. It's uh, I have a busy, busy time with like work. That, that's not true. I don't really do a lot of work. I'll do one for next week, just for you. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll sit and compose one in a meeting tomorrow. Because I'm bound to have a meeting tomorrow. I'm back at work. Ah, now what I've done there is I've forgotten my big green plates. Two seconds. 
ignore the funky shorts. Oh, barbecue sounds so nice. A big old meat fest with like sausages, steaks, chicken, burgers. Hummus, fish fingers, fish fingers are barbecue food. Oh, I went to an evening do of a wedding last week. Um, or the week before, last week, yeah. At some point in the in the past two weeks, and they did fish finger sandwiches as the food. And these massive chunky chips. And it was just epic. I had seconds. But that's not necessarily because it was nice. I was just quite quite hungry. And I wasn't drinking so I because I was driving, so I had to uh I had to have some benefit. Burgers, corn, sausages, noodles, salad, chips and grilled cheese. Grilled cheese. I mean, they all sound very nice. Corn, mm, yeah, maybe. Um, but yeah, not everything else. Not that I don't like corn. It just isn't meat. Special cheese to put on the grill. So not grilled cheese, literally grilled cheese, yeah, okay. Oh, camembert patty, oh, that sounds nice. I'm not against a bit of, bit of camembert. Or any kind of cheese, apart from the Italian maggot cheese. I'm, I'm not a massive fan of Italian maggot cheese. Not that I've tried it. Or ever likely to? The maggot cheese or the camembert, because I can, yeah, I fully understand with the camembert. <laughs> or are you talking about the maggot I'm not sure what I'm building. Possibly the the stand where the guy stands and presses the button. Oh, okay. Do that sometimes. We have macaroni and cheese, but the wife puts um Ebby. Um, I've forgotten the English name for them. 
shrimps. <laughs> well, he put shrimps in, and I'm not a massive fan of shrimps, I must admit, but I'm slowly coming round to them. And she started putting mussels in stuff as well. And also, not a massive fan of mussels, but I am slowly coming round to them. Um... there. It's more the thought of them that's the problem. It's more the, like, these things have got, they, they, they're filter feeders. And I know they're clean and everything, you know, they're, 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 they have to go through a certain amount of, um, washing maybe? I, mean, I might be wrong, but that, that was my understanding. But uh, it's still, it's like, you just you, 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 they eat all the rubbish off the floor. But like I say, I'm, I'm, I'm coming round to them. I'm, I'm less... I'm less likely to turn them down. Because you know what? Getting too old to turn down food. Some kind of gate? Oh, it is a gate. Cool. You want another fence thing there? Yeah. And then that there. And then that there. And then there's a gap for people to get through. If that's what it's for. We've been, been we've been having a lot of pizza lately, and uh, the other half makes me make the bread myself, which not as fun as it sounds, but it's okay. I don't mind doing it. Wait a minute. A little bit of deja vu here. Because we start like that. Minced meat with mozzarella ball inside. Ooh, mozzarella. Some fries and veggies. What, like? Are we talking like a little mozzarella pearl or like one of the big mozzarella balls? Because imagine a big mozzarella ball would make it like scotch egg size. I think a small one might. Either way, it sounds absolutely amazing. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> a big old chonkster. I might give that a try, actually. Yeah, yeah. We usually tear one up for the top of the pizza. Well, I used to slice it, and then it's like, why am I slicing this? When it just tears so beautifully. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm inspired. I think I'll give that a try because that does sound awesome. <laughs> it 
That's right. That's a bit I need. One of those. No, that's not what I need. Ah, there it is. Started watching Ghostbusters yesterday. The the OG version back from from eighteen seventy three or whenever it was leaked. Lots of other stuff. Meet those. Oh, it seems to return. Looks like a loaf of bread. Never had meatloaf. Being UK based, it's not something it's like we've ever been brought up to uh, to have. But I hear it all the time in American shows with various levels of um, uh, or yay, depending on the show, I suppose. We do not put tomato sauce on it or something. I don't know, tomato sounds nice. Oh, I'll tell you what the other half also does. It's really nice. And we'll probably be having later. She makes little egg caramel pudding yeast things and then she, she surrounds it with fruit. Um, which isn't as bad as it sounds. Okay. keep seeing adverts for HelloFresh on YouTube and the advert is really really annoying and so even if I was thinking you know what I'll give HelloFresh a try the, the advert would just put me off it's one of those uh, oh I know what you're thinking HelloFresh is well expensive and we thought so too and then I just click on next, so I don't never really see the end, but I hear enough. But I, I know people who've tried HelloFresh, so you know, they, they, they've said good things about it. So. And obviously it's that. Ah, we've got a little gate. Oh, and then we connect these two together like that. Nice. Ah, it's coming together nicely. Come on. No, no. Okay. Fine, I'll go back to building. All right, one of one of these. There we go. We couldn't cook anything expected. Yeah, it's nothing wrong with spaghetti bolognese and pizza, but if you're only having it every so often, if you're having it a lot, then yeah, I suppose. But yeah, it's nice to nice nice to spread out a little bit. Used to have when I when I lived in a flat years and years ago. I didn't have a cooker, um, because I was poor. Um, and couldn't afford a cooker. So um, I got an old steamer off me man and uh, discovered many, many ways 
in which you can cook things in a steamer. Um, never touched a steamer since, but uh, it is a great way. I even managed to work out how to cook pasties in a steamer. Yeah. Yeah, it worked really well. It was a really, really cool steamer. Um, I say you could. Uh, I worked out if you wrapped pasties in in foil, you could do them in a steamer. If you uh, if you put foil on top of your your beans, you could do them in a steamer. Steamer uh, potatoes, obviously, you can do in a steamer anyway. Steamer is practically designed for. But I've been thinking of getting another one, one of them uh, bamboo affairs. Where's that go? Hmm, so I've got that one. There. So yeah, I think I'm thinking of getting one of those bamboo affairs and, and, and trying some 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 of the old recipes, some of new, some new ones. See what we can make in it. And by that I mean I'll mostly get one and hope the, the other half uses it a lot. Right, we need two of these, so we need... Well, the one I got off my man was... Um, was an electric steamer, so it had its own reservoir at the bottom, and it um, it did itself. But like I say, we were sort of looking at one of those, maybe getting one of those bamboo ones that you put in a wok um, or a pan, and then use that to steam it. Could very well do. It's uh, a good way to not overcook your veggies. Although you probably still can. <laughs> I'm sure I'd find a way. Also, I'm told, if you're thinking about making your own Christmas pudding, you need to start now. Because apparently, they take a month or two. Um, the main ingredient, as far as I can tell, is brandy. Um, it's not. It's just like a, a fruit pudding. Um, it's like the traditional sort of in English, you British sort of pudding in that you put it in a bowl and you, you possibly steam it. Um, and it's like a cake, but a bit denser and it's got lots of fruit in it and you put brandy in it and then you set it on fire but stuff has to like age and mature um i'm not 100 percent certain what it's about well, i was just i was just quite surprised when i was watching a tv show the other day and, and someone was saying oh and uh, it's, it's about time you started your own uh, 
your, your Christmas puddings. I'm like, really? It's, it's September. That's worse than Sainsbury's getting the Christmas stuff in. Which they probably do, I'm going to be honest. I didn't look, but there's a solid chance that Sainsbury's has the Christmas stuff in already. It, it, I've, I've sort of tried it and it is very, very nice. It's um, very, very stodgy. Um, and if you have it with, with brandy flavoured cream, When I say brandy flavoured, I mean just like it's got brandy in the cream. It's not just like tastes like brandy. missed a step too busy thinking about Christmas pudding I might see how you make one I might look online and, and get a recipe or something and see if I can make one because that sounds fun oh to remember so Do you normally make brown? Is, 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 is amaretto not normal for doing this? I don't, I don't know. I, I, like I say, I love it because it's cream and booze. Um, but what booze it has in it, I have no idea. Tiramisu, Christmas pudding, and also I'd like to make a Black Forest Gatto because I absolutely love chocolate and cherries. Separately, all together, it's fine. Also, now I've got Show Me The Way To Amarillo, or... Is it Show Me The Way To Amarillo? Stuck in my head. Right. Not gonna lie, having to reach around this microphone is not ideal. But I don't know how else to set up, so. This is such a colourful set. This side, not so much. This side is dull. This side, it's just a riot. It's like I might need to get me sunglasses out to look at this side if I'm not careful. Oh, cool. Thank you. Yeah. Well, it's important to have the Lego sounds because that's possibly ASMR. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, another 
the subassembly. Okay, so um, four of these. I should get one of them. Well, I've I've got a an arm that I can use for the microphone, but it doesn't fit on this table. Is the thing? At least not in a way that won't get me shouted at for damaging the table. Back in a second, I've got a drippy tap that's driving me nuts. There. I did have a work, I did have a headset. The arm kept falling off. Guess it was like, well, it's as old as this laptop, and this laptop's pushing six years old. And it just fell apart, and I was like, oh, because I really liked the headset. And the sound wasn't terrible from it either. But it was like a hundred quid headset that I got free with this laptop as part of one of those uh, Black Friday type sales. And then when it broke, I was like, I don't really have a hundred quid to spend on a headset. So I spent a hundred quid on a microphone instead. Oh, no, I haven't finished this yet. I missed a step. I mean, 50 euros is more than I'd spend on it for, for meetings, I'll be honest. I think I spent £19 on my current one. And I was like, oh, I don't want to spend this. We used to be able to get free headsets from work that were good enough for meetings. But then, then, we, then we, we effectively changed companies. And the new company was like, oh no, buy your own headset. And also, no more expensing beer with your meals. Which didn't go down massively well. Yeah, the, the one I use for work, I, I quite, I quite like it because it's very easy to quickly find the mute button when I want to call someone an idiot. Not that I do. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, we have four of these to do. I thought I'd get a better microphone so I could uh, I could have something I could use to record audio for videos as well. But I don't actually talk on my videos, so <laughs> it's not coming handy for that. But it's useful for streaming. I need a new chair as well. My chair's about, not the chair I'm sat on. The chair I'm sat on is mercifully quiet, but the chair I use for work at my desk, it's like, it's older than my niece. That'll be what, at least 10 years old now? And it's, it, it squeaks and creaks and, um, doesn't stay upright all the time <laughs> so I need a new one but the one I want is like 500 quid so I might have to save or something Yeah, and it's not a quiet squeak either. It's like... Imagine the creak you would hear from, say, a mast on a tall ship before it just keeled over and snapped. It's that kind of creak. It's so loud. If I'm in a meeting and move around on it, people mute me. Or it might be just because I'm talking shite. Um... But it's probably the chair. Six of those. finish my my two weeks my two weeks off are up that's okay Jilly. you you have a good shower and more fun and enjoy your evening and thank you for watching more importantly it's been lovely talking to you So we want one with egg. Do this over here. <laughs> well, good luck with it if you do. <laughs> See you later.
I think this is the top part. So I think this bit probably goes up here. And has this, uh, what it does? yeah, yeah, it almost certainly does. Oh, another sub-assembly. Using oh, part of the sun. We are over halfway according to the um, according to the book and we have an awful lot of bits left. But I'm sure that's fine. I think that goes there. No, it doesn't. Of course it doesn't. It goes on the other side. And then we go in the corner and we do more or less the same on this side. More or less, but not exactly. Like that. Then we want two more of these directionally changey ones. go on there and then we have a 2v1 that goes there I keep thinking I drink too much tea and then I realize no I probably don't drink enough tea there's an entire tea industry out there that's relying on my continued patronage for their Christmas bonuses. And it would be rude of me to deny them a good Christmas. Simply because I think I'm drinking too much tea. The bit I wanted goes on there. Then we need uh, two of these. Half quarter round. I don't know. I don't know what's called. And then we need another two -er to go underneath. And then two of these roundy ones. These round corners. If we can find the other one. Yeah, here it is. And these can go on here. Like that. Yes, definitely. Definitely correct. Then we need some of these to emulate the ocean waves. Well, this is a ship we are building. Need that. Need one of those and one of them. Oh, to make the sail. The sail of the century. Get to the back there. And we want two more in the middle that are slightly taller. They have an extra thing. If I can find the middle bit, there we go. Uh, 
and then we have our front sail it might not even be a sail it might be just that weird bit that they put at the front of boats with a lady on it And then it goes in here like that. And then this does go on here. My predictions came true. It's almost like I'd done this kind of thing before. Let's put that to one side. Because um, now we need to build. Uh, we're going to need to put that more to one side. Yes. Now we need to build the swing bits. The swingy swing swing swings. In red and potentially other colours too. Probably not blue though. Or maybe blue, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Orange bricks. We do love orange bricks. two paths to it. I wonder why it looked a little worse. A little smaller than it did on the thing. I'm gonna have to go on mute a bit as we is cream getting whipped, but I'll carry on there. I'll carry on with the um One of the minor, minor downsides of having a studio in the kitchen. And then we want a long one across the bottom. No, nope, that's not the long one we want across the bottom. This one here goes across the bottom, ties everything down, and then we're going to, we're going to put some of these clippies in here, and then some green bits, some of the green ones on, oh no, the green ones, no, the green ones go on the end here, oh, no. 
there. And there. And there. And then we want the red one, red sort of endy bits. And some tan tuber ones to go on the end there. To make them look a little bit roundy. What's next? Okay. So we put two of these on each side like that. Then we get two more and then we put some tan two by ones on. And then we put them on the other ones. And then we connect them together like that. Then you can place it on there like that, and then it swings. Swing, swing, swing. Now we've got to make a green one. A green one, I tell you. Now let's adjust this chair. We'll put this over here for now. Then we can get to all our bits. And we build this one pretty much identically to the last one. Except with different colours. Greens instead of oranges and reds. Ah, maybe the other one is blue and uh, blue and purple, maybe. We don't have two, two blues or two purples. So presumably, okay, so that's the half built. Now we need just to build the other half. More of these, and then another grey one in the middle, and two of these grey one by ones with some studs on the sides. And then that connects onto there, and we turn the page. We flip it upside down. Then put some of these half axles on. Oh, thank you. Got some delicious, delicious dessert. Think how much have we got left to do? Not a massive amount. I'll finish and then I'll have that delicious, delicious dessert. Um, okay, so we want to lock this down into place with this, make sure nothing moves around. 
and then again we want our four teeny connectors in the ends here because that'll give us something to grip onto with our thing and then again our green studs on the ends that one didn't want to go Two of these greeny ones and two more tan two by ones. The only problem with there being so many bits left over after the build is we'll tidy them up. I kind of should keep them sorted so that when we do the third build in the series, which is a uh, a bumper car thing which I was gonna do tonight and then I showed 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 the wife the uh, the options and she was like oh the swing set thing's nice and so I was like okay I'll build that I've just realized I've spelt alternate wrong in the title And it wouldn't be right if I'd spelt it correctly. So, cool. So this is swing number two. And it goeth in the middle. Like that, so they can swing independently. And then we'll build our purple and blue one. The final swing. The final swing down. Do, do, do. No. I won't torture you anymore with my singing. Honestly, if that gets me a content claim on YouTube, I will be very, very, very shocked. Doggy's fallen over. Although, to be honest, it probably fell over a while ago. And I just didn't notice. There it is. Now I've got that song stuck in me head. Still better than Show Me The Way To Amarillo. Oh baby shark, do 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 do. Oh wait, I'll just, Oh, okay. I just did step 83 without looking at it. Aren't I marvellous? Oh, I just remembered what to do from the previous ones.
stay somewhere. Come on, small blue piece. Where did you go? Ah, there it is. There we go. We got all our small blue pieces. We can flip this back over now and put in our, our what are rapidly becoming traditional green. Decorations on the end. And then we're using the purple curvy ends. Possibly because we don't have enough blue ones. And last, not the last, there's loads of these. It's the last ones we're putting on here though. I say there's loads, there's only like four left. Who's 12, 16, 16, yeah. No, eight aside, so those. Sounds about right. Last of our swings. Mm, that's a bit awkward, never mind. Okay, so now we have three. We have a full set of swings. Okay. So next up we have a a method by which to keep the swings from getting getting pushed out of their uh, their moorings, so to speak. Two of those, two of those. Two of them and two flat and square tiles. There we go. And then these go in at these ends to do the same, just to stop it from uh, falling off, putting someone's eye out. There we go. There, health and safety will be so happy with that. And then. Two more of these, although I don't see any Lego forms to fill in for them. Oh, interesting. All right, so we need a sort of tea. So of tea had we need a cash register. And on top of that we need a 
We need one of them, and then we need... And then we need this wheel, but we need to take the tire off. Which is a shame, because I never usually take the tires off once they're on. It's usually, uh... You're on now, you're staying where you are. It's stiff. That's not going to stand up. So we need another one of these. Um, to go there, maybe that. Nope, still not going to stand up. And then we need one of these green ones on each face of the top. And it still doesn't stand up. Nope. It'll be fine. Is some? Haha, <laughs> now it's balanced. Put a wheel on the back. There, little wheel on the back. And then this goes this end. There. For reasons, I suppose. Don't know what that does. Two of these, two bonds with a hinge, one of those, and three of these direction you changey shenanigans. Um, and drink order. We seem to be making some kind of stepladder. That doesn't look right. Oh, welcome back. <laughs> oh, I don't have one for unlock either. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm close to finishing the book. Uh, oh no, I have finished it. <laughs> but uh, it's a bit early to, to, to leave, so I've got another one to do. Um, so this stepladder thing goes. Is it a stepladder? Oh, it's broke. Oh well. There we go. So here we have it. Um, a little thing, a doggy and a bubblegum machine. You, you've managed to find something to look at. There we go. So there we go. It's got uh, three, three cars that swing freely. Um, it's uh, it's got a nice little sort of gate thingy at the end here with them. Um, I don't think that's step. I don't know what that is. Bubble gun machine, like I say, a nice boat on the top. Uh, yeah, I, I think this is. I think this is a. This is a lovely addition to the Ferris wheel. Would I buy a second set so I could build this as well as the Ferris wheel? I might. I mean, I'm not going to, but I might. 
if I had more cash um, and a more understanding why. Yeah. But yeah, overall, very impressed with the build. It's a, it's a nice use of 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 the the spare parts. Well, I say spare parts; they're not spare. The parts from the main build. Yeah. Oh, I like that. I can uh, I can stay together for a bit while I. Uh... There's another one to build. There's. Um... Can't see it on here, but there's some bumper cars, so I'll do that in a few weeks. Um, but that didn't take as long as I thought it would. So, let's move that across there. We have a bonus build. 42116, a Technic skid steer loader. Um, cost £9. It's one of the cheap sets. Um, it has two in one builds, but the second building instructions are on the internet, so I probably wouldn't go for those. But let's uh, yeah, generally with the three in ones, you can you can only build one of them at any one time. Um, the main build usually, but doesn't always take all of the parts and then the sub builds take a, a subsection of the parts as you can see there's quite a lot left over from this one uh, ooh, bucket let's put you over there um, so yeah no that it's I this is why I like the three in ones because the main build is always pretty cool anyway and then the sub builds are always as cool, if you know what I mean. It's like there's a lot of imagination goes into the sub builds, it makes them very cool to to put together. Um, the only problem is that I think the largest one I have is a castle, which I'm going to be building um, soon-ish. Um, I need to take it apart again. Yes, I've, uh, yeah, again, that's um, that'll be a VOD on Twitch. Um, I'm also working on a shorter version of it to put onto YouTube. Um, but I wanted to do this one as well, and the next one as well. But uh, yeah, but the yeah, that was the first one we built on stream. Mm, yeah, this year anyway. <laughs> Um, I presume it's still a VOD on Twitch. It's it's only two in two hours and forty five minutes long. I say only. Hello, Mayor. May Mayor. May. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't have a three D printer. Sadly, um, I'd like one. Um, so if you have one just like hanging around you want to send me, um, I'm not going to say no, but I, I don't do any 3D printing. Um, I do do occasionally, though I haven't done it on Twitch yet, I do occasionally do some like um, diorama building. Um, which a 3D printer would help with, but uh, no. As it stands, I am 3D printerless. I don't know why I keep buying Technic. I mean, it's all fun and all, but it's... Uh, I do like brick building. Now that is an option, Chile, and I've, I've I've looked at that. I was gonna do that with this, but then I remembered that the main build 
breaks everything down bag by bag. So it tells you which bag you need next. And if it's a fairly big one, uh, like multi-bag one, then that's really useful. I mean, this had like eight bags. Um, might have been five bags. Five bags, I think. But then the, 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 the extra builds don't do that. Um, so you end up having to open all of the bags at the same time. And then when you come to do the main build, but you know, that's, uh, I think actually that's a minor, that's a minor thing. Now I think about it, probably not something I'd let stop me, uh, doing it in the future. In fact, that's what I might do. If I can get hold of the, uh, the Viking ship, I really do want the Viking longboat. Might do it with that. Yeah, possibly. But main build is is as good um, as all of all of the ones I've got currently built are built on their main build. Oh, you have it. Oh, like you already have it. Um, It's like I say, it's on my list <laughs> eventually. <laughs> but then again, 90% of Lego's websites on my list. Yeah. I was going to have a look at, um, cause I know Zavi do discounted Lego. And obviously Amazon, not a massive fan of Amazon. I'm going to be honest. So having said that, I do give them a surprising amount of my money, given that I'm not a fan. The only significant set I currently have that's waiting to be built is the Ecto-1, and that's, uh, that will be built in Halloween. Um, so yeah. Looking forward to doing that. It's going to be a big build all in one day. Okay. I should, I should pay more attention to these sites that help you do that. <laughs> Far too often people are like, oh, I managed to get it from this. And I'm like, hmm? <laughs> Never heard of it. Yeah, I've actually had it since the beginning of the year. <laughs> I've been like, um, probably, I think I bought it just after I moved here. So probably March. And I was like, I'm going to build that for Halloween. And it's just been sat there for so long. And I've been like, I really want to build it. But no, I must wait. I did a haunted house last Halloween. But I don't know where the mod for that is. But that suffered from the same issue that the um, uh, Ninja City did because it is as tall as the Ninja City. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, I'm going to build that. Um, someone suggested I do like like alerts and some overlays themed around Ghostbusters, um, which I also think is an awesome idea. But may test my. Uh, my skills somewhat so well I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm giving it some serious thought oh what are you going to do for your bonsai right Oh, alright. Yeah, that's right. Oh, you have screaming heads. Uh, um. 
I have built this so well. I mean, that sounds awesome. Not gonna lie, that does sound like an incredible idea. Oh, for flip's sake, what have I done? Do you have all of this, or is it going to be mocks? Are you building it with mocks? Oh, oh, is this this not a Lego bonsai tree? Is this an actual normal bonsai tree? <laughs> Just going ahead, assuming, oh, he's, he's going to get some Lego heads and stuff. Oh, okay, a Lego on that. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> So are you going to mock the evil witch with the cold or do you do you have something already like um I think there is a isn't there any a witch beg a, a witch brickhead I think I've got a witch brickhead Yeah I've got the witch brickhead Oh, nice. Are you going to post a picture of it anywhere? Are we going to be able to see this, 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 this cool, cool bonsai tree? Yeah. Uh... You got skeletons. A couple of skeletons wouldn't go missed. Definitely bats and spiders. I mean, I have plenty of spiders. There's a giant one up there. You can have that if you want. I'll pack it up and send it. I should point out that it's a real spider. <laughs> I'm not offering to send you a Lego spider. Um, okay, that goes in there like that. This is like a like mini worm gear. be the skid steery bit. We do like some skid steery bits. Um this goes oh wait no so this has a black one and Alright let's do the Weird copy thing. Paste. These are the sneaky spaces. Oop. Spaces, not the M. Oh, yeah. No, that is. I like that. Oh, I like those green chains. On the heads. So many orange leaves. Mmm, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I got that. Yeah, that's uh, it's a great idea. Like that uh, skeleton just hanging off the side without its head.
I'm gonna like it. How do I like it? There, I've liked it. Do I follow you? I'm gonna follow you. There we go. Not that I'm on on Instagram a lot, but I do have an Instagram account. That's a lot of minifig parts. Looks quite macabre. All the separated heads. <laughs> the stacked heads. So I have I've I got distracted by your other post now. <laughs> Are those grapes? No. Some kind of Gooseberry, cherry, maybe cherry. Ah, no, I'm not a botanist. No, we, we, yeah, it's, um, it's not huge, I don't think, in the UK. Um, it's definitely a thing. Um, Definitely, like kids going out and demanding free sweets. Oh, I think I've only posted two things, so you know you're well ahead of me. Um, uh, if 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 I'm, how's this good one? Yeah, so I, I don't know. We've, we, we, we don't normally, because we've always lived in flats up until recently. We've not really had, had many kids calling around for sweets, but when we move, I keep looking over here for parts and I shouldn't because those are different. Just ignore those, Mark, ignore those. Um, Yeah, so I will probably have some sweets in this year. This year, but the, the trouble is because I'm planning on streaming <laughs> on Halloween. It's going to make it difficult for me to get up and answer the door, and and give chills and sweets. But I'm very obviously going to be in, and I don't want to. Uh, on my, my, I, don't, I don't want on my first sort of Halloween on the estate to be like, uh, oh, that guy's a bit of a misery. He's in, but he's not answering his door. <laughs> like, no, I'm, uh, I'm entertaining people with brick builds. It goes where now? Under there. Um, okay. All right, so. Let's do this the right way around. So. But yeah, definitely get some sweets. I mean, it's not like they're going to go to waste. Because I am a big fan of sweets, in case you hadn't guessed. Yeah, 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 just, I'm probably overthinking it. In fact, I'm definitely overthinking it. Is that 22? That is 22. Oh, okay. I don't know what. Um, oh, this is a side panel. Okay. 
but yeah, it's, it's, it's Halloween's gonna be uh, fun. I hope. <laughs> I think it's a. I think I've estimated it's an eight-hour build. Oh, that sounds awesome! Yeah, organized organized Halloween stuff does sound does sound amazing. My, I think my um, niece goes to some of them. <laughs> Chasing girls with chainsaws. Yeah, it's it's cool when they sort of like, I was going to say put a bit of effort in, but you know, when they do that kind of thing. I don't really get much like that around here. In the back of beyond. Well, like I say, I think my, uh, my niece will be going to something similar. Oh, nice. Like, full service then. Did you have to run from the zombies? Is it one of those like, ha ha, you're here, yeah, we're gonna make you do exercise. I know there's a running app, isn't there, for... where you can, you can run away from zombies. I know what you're thinking. How does he know about running apps? Yeah. I was like, look at the actors. I presume they were actors. Um, could have been real zombies, I suppose. I was like, look at the actors and think, how do you do it? You know, how do you show off so much to such a degree? Oh, I'm, oh, oh, I'm missing a bit. <clears throat> they lipped and ground. Definitely sounded like a great experience, though. Ooh, post-apocalyptic. I do like post-apocalyptic. I was playing Last of Us Part 2 a while back. Twist and it goes up and down and up and down and up. Yeah, we'll, we'll stop now. <laughs> And that's got like, obviously it's got a post-apocalyptic setting. And it was just like, this is so amazing. All these corpses. This is what I dislike about Technic. 
you get everything lined up and you're like you should go in there why aren't you going in there <laughs> yeah if you, if you i can imagine if you if you don't notice that the chains aren't there <laughs> just, they're just running around with what appears to be a live chainsaw There's going to be some uh, some brown underpants. Oh, about the time you should be uh, slightly toasty on uh, on some kind of alcohol. <laughs> I'm a little bit drunk. I don't need to be seeing guys with chainsaws chasing me around. Is exactly what I'd be saying. Yeah. Fudge. Fudge kittens. One of those. I thought I saw something red, but I can't see it. You said it was at Europa Park. No, it's the proper theme park. Oh, it's the largest theme park in Germany. In Freiburg and Breisgau. Oh, Freiburg in price scale. It's last ball. You ten more events, is it? Hello, winter. Traumatic a festival of fear. I mean, that sounds great. Ah, that image is lovely. Uh, well, I mean, obviously it's not lovely. It's terrifying, but... Yeah, I have a, I have a weird relationship with Disney. Not like an actual relationship with Disney, but... Um, from a corporate point of view, I absolutely hate Disney, because... They're just evil corporation. Um, but from from an animation fan point of view, it's like they make good cartoons. Um, 
And so, and then they have Star Wars as well, and now they own Fox, so now they own Alien, and uh, um, bunch of other cool things. Yeah. But they're very good at what they do, is the thing. It's like... I've seen some meh Disney films, but I've never... I, I, it's very rare that Disney put out a film that is actively bad. I mean, I'm not saying they don't. They have, they have made some bad films in the past, but, you know, most of the time a Disney film is like, eh, it's all right. But it's also quite rare these days that they're making actively good films. Oh, I've got another car on an axle. I don't know what that does. I'm sure we'll find out. Hey. But then again, I, I also suppose it, uh, it's better that someone like Disney picks up some of these, these franchises from, from studios that aren't doing well so that they can continue developing them. Just be nice if they were a better company. Yeah. Yeah, it does. I'm not massively sad about that. Although Home Alone has grown on me these past few years. Oh, that would be so good. <laughs> Well, bandits in something like an ant man, um, an ant man, or um, something like that. Yeah, <laughs> what's going on? Um, that I think. Yeah, that goes up there, then that goes on there. I know Wreck It Ralph two wasn't wasn't great. It, it certainly um, <clears throat> it it certainly had its moments, but the whole thing where uh, I can't remember her name now goes into it goes into that room and it's like, ah, oh, you are a Disney princess. It was just was was awesome. <laughs> We put the chair back there. Oh, they could join one of those, is it? Reaver squads from Guardians of the Galaxy. Just mooch around space, just uh, leaving everyone's taps on. Another one of those on there, and then this goes on here. A little like that. And that goes up there. Ah, that's the cab. 
that's the cab that stops all of the uh, steel beams falling on his head. Which is always a cool thing to do. And then we have wheels in there. The skid steer load, I'm not sure how it skid steers. Unless it's just like, ah, this would be a skid 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 skid. Uh, dip. A. Done that one. That's all right. I mean, What's a Sunday night for if it's not for getting shot by Sith? Um, oh. I mean, we're nearly done. Possibly. goes in there I don't know what this is oh it's that makes perfect sense now completely forgot there was a bucket to put on To be perfectly honest, there's a little bit of me thinking, have I got another one of these already? All right, there we go. We've got some spares, which I shall slide into that bag. No, I won't. I'll keep them separate. Um, set number 42116, the skid steer um, loader. Doesn't do a lot of skid steering, although we've got a, a thing at the back that allows us to uh, tilt the bucket, which is cool. We've got a thing at the top that allows us to raise and lower the bucket, though not too far. There we go, then we walk. You are right. Let's see, let's see, let's see if we can. Yeah. I mean, it's not doing great. There we go. It's got some bits. Raise it up and then take it out. That feels a little bit flimsy, but that's okay. That's fine. It's not a bad little set. I think worth, I think I paid nine pounds for it. It's a very small set. Um, a few extra little parts for the, uh, for the collection. Yeah. Anyway, cool, yeah. Um, 
And that's brought us up to the two hours quite nicely. So I think I'm going to probably leave it there and enjoy this this rapidly warming um, dessert that my 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 other half bought me. So thank you very much for showing. Ah, oh, what have I done? Thank you very much for for coming along, uh, Jilly and Ben and uh, anyone else who lurked. That is absolutely fine. Um, I'm probably going to go and raid. Is Celeste do a voyage one? I presume he is. It's one of his nights. That's uh, very welcome. I very much enjoy doing these. Um, there'll be another one next week. I don't know what I'll be doing. It'll be something from my mediocre collection. Right, so I'm going to raid Celestial. Um, thank you again. Thank you, thanks very much for, for popping in. Um, if if you like what you see, just smash that big purple heart. Sorry, couldn't resist. Um, and I will hopefully see you guys next week. Uh, let's see if I remember how to do this raid. Celestial. Voyager. Bye. That work. Raid has been created. Two viewers in eight seconds. Raid now. Wait, I'm still streaming. Let's uh, let's stop my still streaming.